Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and I thought I'd take some time just to review last night's Royal Rumble event. Um, I've been a fan of wrestling for about 20 odd years now, ever since I was a little bit younger. And me and my friends get together for some of the big events to watch them together. Um, I'm a little bit hungover at the moment because we tend to include alcohol in these events as well. Although I wasn't blind drunk. Um, but yeah, if I miss anything, it's probably because I'd had a few to drink. But, like I say, I've been a fan for a while now. And, you know, I, I the quality has dropped dr dramatically. So I tend not to watch too often in terms of weekly Raws and Smackdowns. I'll keep an eye on things online. You know, uh, if there's any interest in developments, I will, you know, watch them online. But for the most part, I'm not an avid viewer like I used to be back in the Attitude Era and even, you know, from sort of 2002 to 2010, that was when I really started, 2010 was probably when I stopped watching on a regular basis, picked it back up in about 2012 when they had the whole CM Punk storyline going on um, and kind of just dropped off again, um, but yeah, lots of experience with wrestling, been to a couple of WrestleManias and, um, you know, last night's events was the first thing I want to say was better than last year's. Um, just trying to run through some of the matches. We had the Kevin Owens against um, Dean Ambrose last man standing match. That was it was a good one. Um, you know, last man standing matches in this PG era are kind of pointless to me um, because you know to have a true last man standing match, you know, I, I really think you've got to take it to the next level to make it something really unique. I like the physical styles of both Ambrose and Owens. Um, but they are kind of restricted in this day and age, and you could really tell as well with the double table setup that that was going to be the you know the the finish. But it was a decent match. Um, you know, it just I hadn't really watched too much of the build up, so it was kind of lost on me. I just enjoyed it for what it was. Then we had the tag match. Um, I think was it the tag match next, the New Day against uh, the Usos, and. You know, I, at first I really, really hated the New Day um, when they first came in. I think everyone really did. And as they've gotten more goofy and goofy and goofy, you know, it, it's just become more entertaining. Individually, before they got together, I didn't like any of the, you know, uh, Kofi, Xavier or Biggie. I didn't like any of them on their, their own. Um, yeah, Kofi's a talented high flyer, but he just doesn't have anything that makes him stand out realistically in terms of charisma. Um, I'm not saying he's a bad wrestler, he's just not something that connects with me. Um, but together, you know, I think they've really hit on something. Um, so I'm enjoying them. Usos, you know, they're they're a good tag team. Um, but again, it's just something I don't get. I don't connect with the tag teams nowadays compared to back. You know, when you had the Matt and Jeffs, the Edge and Christians, you know. Um, you know, even the likes of Al Snow and Steve Blackman, they, they were two completely opposite characters. But when you brought them together, they just worked. Um, so again, decent match. Didn't go on too long. Um, and, you know, the biggest pop that the match got was when they introduced the new trombone. So that kind of really says everything. Um, Alberto Del Rio versus Callisto. Um, again, decent match. Um... I can't stand Alberto Del Rio. He's just such a stale, boring character. I was so glad when he left a few years ago, and then when he came back, I was just kind of like, meh. You know, I thought I'd got away from this. But it was a good match, and I was really glad to see uh, Callisto giving the belt back. You know, I hate it when they do that whole sort of, oh, we'll give him the belt for one day to make it seem like, you know, they've done something significant. Um, like they did with Christian on that world title run where he won the belt on the pay-per-view and then lost it on SmackDown, I think it was. Um, but, again, a decent match. A fairly enjoyable. you know. But in this type of night, you're always looking forward to the Royal Rumble event. That's that's just the way it goes. The last singles match we had was Charlotte against Becky Lynch. Um, again, for a women's match, it was really good. Most, you know, again, with women's matches... The way they used to always have it was, you know, it'd be two, you know, two girls who would just be there for their looks rather than their ability. But recently, you've seen a lot of influx of, you know, girls who can actually wrestle, which is good to see. Um, 
but you know, again, Charlotte going over with the, I mean, the finish was a bit weak, throwing, you know, Rick's coat onto her head to distract her. It's just eh, it doesn't really work for me. I do like Rick Flair as a manager. Um, you know, I loved I loved his, you know, sort of uh, time with Triple H. Where he was just, uh, you know, Triple H's manager, and he he would just be going sick every week. He'd be on the apron throwing his jacket down, you know. Uh, he was just so entertaining to watch, and you know, he's turned it down a bit with Charlotte, but he's still a, a valuable asset for her to get some heat. Um. So yeah, moving on to the Rumble match itself, as I say, it was a much better match than last year. Um, mostly because of the well the results and and the way that they planned it last year they really messed up in terms of you know throwing Daniel Bryan out um you know at the very end of the match or was it actually was it half yeah it was near the end of the match and giving it to Roman Reigns I mean the fans didn't want to see Roman Reigns win um they were cheering for Rusev who at that point no one had cheered for him so they really needed to fix it this year um it was great to see AJ Styles um you know, again, he got a great reaction, um, yeah, and it was disappointing to see him thrown out. I'd like to see him get to the very end, just to give him a bit more of a an impression on the fans who hadn't seen him before. But hey, you know, that wasn't terrible. It wasn't like he was thrown out in a minute. Um, it was a bog standard rumble in most parts. You know, um, I was disappointed with the lack of surprise entrance. I think realistically, AJ and Triple H at the very end were the only surprises that we had. Um, usually we get a, a hacksaw or, you know, someone along those lines, you know, who is normally, it's, it's a bit of a nostalgia trip, but we didn't get that last, this year. But again, it didn't necessarily take away from um, the Rumble. One thing I didn't get was the pre-show. They had uh, Devon and Bubba Ray against Jack Swagger, Mark Henry, against The Ascension, against Darren Young and Damien Sandow. They had Swagger and Mark Henry win that match to qualify for the Rumble. And both of them were out fairly quickly. So I thought that was a waste of two spots. If they could have given to, you know, anyone, someone from NXT, I, I, I don't know. Um, it would have even been nice just to see the Dudleys in there. I always found it funny that last year Bubba Ray got in no problem. And this year he needs to qualify. So, yeah, that doesn't really make too much sense. Um, yeah, I really, really like Braun Strowman. Um, he's got such a physical presence and such a good look, and he's huge. You know, he's one of the only few people who, you know, can compare in size to the likes of The Big Show, Kane, Brock Lesnar. You know, um, so I think he's got a bright future. Um, I like the way that you know Brock just comes in and just tears everyone apart. I guess that's just the way Brock's always been. Um, and they had to get him out because he wasn't going to win. So they, I guess, they had to try and get him out. And doing that whole thing with the the Wyatt family was a was you know a decent way of, of getting that over. And I'm assuming the Bray's going to face Brock at WrestleMania. That's the way it's going to go down now. Um, with regards to the actual ending, um, I thought it was nice to see Roman get eliminated. Um, you know, fared to last rather than leaving it down to Triple H versus Roman Reigns, where they knew people are going to be cheering for Triple H if it come down to it. They gave it to Dean Ambrose, which, you know, took the took the um the heat from you know from Triple H um and gave uh Ambrose a lot of support there. People wanted to see Ambrose support uh win. Uh it was it was kind of an underwhelming actual finishing spot where Triple H just lifted him over through the ropes but you know, at the end of the day, I suppose they just wanted to, to get Roman Reigns out and just get it over and done with. You know, we weren't going to get a sort of Undertaker Shawn Michaels 10 minute singles match like we did in 2007. Um, but, yeah, if you'd have told me at the start of the night Triple H would walk out with the championship, I would have been surprised, but I would have been happy because I like Triple H as a performer. Um, I was disappointed when he stopped, you know, performing on a regular basis. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see where they go with this now. And I'm assuming they're just set up for a rematch at WrestleMania. It's, uh, uh, you know, the Roman Reigns against Triple H isn't the the most. Um, it's not the the most tantalising of of matches, but hopefully they don't fill the card up with some other good, decent, um, you know, sort of matches there. I'm interested to see who Taker's going to face now that John Cena's injured, because apparently he was going to be facing John Cena. Um, 
so yeah, we'll just see how it goes. But overall, it was a decent event, which you know you're not really able to say that much nowadays about WWE. Hopefully, they can go forward, start building up some of the younger characters, um, even more. You know, take AJ forward, um, and you know, just see where we go from here. But I enjoyed it. I mean, I always enjoy the live events, and it's normally the day after that I'll sort of look back and be like, mm, actually, that wasn't that good. But no, today I look back and I think it was it was fairly decent. Just a bit of a lack of surprise entrance, you know, and. Um, you know, other than that, I, I did enjoy it. So, anyway, uh, let me know what you thought of it if you watched it. Um, as I say, I'm always interested to get other people's opinions to, to, to see what they thought. And, um, yeah, just like and subscribe, and I will see you all soon.